Hello, this is Dave Taylor at Cyberhose Pro with today's video tutorial. And I want to show you today how you can embed a your eBay items that you're selling into your website or blog, or indeed somebody else's eBay items. So here we are logged into eBay and I'm looking at a particular item for sale, it happens to be men's shirts. And if I zip over here, this site is called Auction Nudge. And it seems to provide a very simple and straightforward way to embed your eBay products. So if I go back to eBay for a second, what I want first of all is the seller name. So I go down to seller information and I'm going to pick up the seller name which is Sublime Trends right here. Just highlight it and then as you can see here I drop it into the user ID box on Auction Nudge. And as soon as I do that this site finds the items that I've got for sale on eBay as you can see on the right hand panel here and it offers me the default of column view but I can change that to a number of other views, simple list, etc., etc. But let's go back to column view and it gives me the number of items I want to show. If I want to show the eBay logo, so let's try carousel and refresh. And now you can see it's a carousel that moves right to left and gives me other options where I can specify how I want the my eBay items to appear on my website and then underneath gives me a simple piece of code that I can copy and pick up and I can go over to my HTML editor and just drop it in right there if I do a preview on that as you can see I've now got my carousel of items for sale embedded on a web page so that's really how easy it is to take your eBay items and to make them available through your website or blog or somebody else's uh, website you can see at the top here there's also a WordPress plugin uh, if your if your website is on WordPress but otherwise it looks like a really easy tool and a free tool auction nudge to embed your eBay products for sale that's it for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that one and uh, you have a great day. We'll see you next time for another video tutorial from Cyberhost Pro. Bye for now.